Hello friends, welcome to the Osaka. My name is Delilah Frank. Today I have some quick updates to share with you. So the quick one is that the Black Stars players have started arriving in Ghana. I have all the footages and the highlights and every action that you need to know. And also Stephen Apia, who is a former captain of the Black Stars, have advised Otuado on what he needs to do in relation to Andrea Ayu. And also he has spoken about Ghana versus Mali and the Central African Republic. We'll talk about that, we'll talk about other updates where the Black Stars is concerned. As usual, if it's your first time, hit on the subscription button. But always my son, let's get straight into today's news. Let's start off with the Black Stars players. So the players have started arriving in Ghana. You could tell that uh, obviously they are still camping at the Alisa Hotel. So the players, most of the players have yet not arrived. As at the time I'm recording this video, about six to seven players are the only players that have arrived. So uh, players like... Uh, Thomas Pate, Tarek Lamte, uh, Thomas Asante, who is a new player that they called. Yeah, a couple of that. Like this, like these players are those that have arrived so far. And we are hoping that uh, the rest will be joining them later. Some of them is by no fault of theirs. Like some of the guys in the UK, for instance, like Semeno, George Wallacott, and the likes, their flight got delayed. And that's why they are still not in Ghana. So it's not because the players don't want to arrive early on time. So that's something that we also need to know about. It's not because they don't want to arrive on time. And as a result of that, it has affected the training schedule of the team. I understand that because of that, the team will not be training today. As communicated, they were supposed to train today, but I understand that they are not going to train today simply because the coach believes that most of the players are not around. And I think it's true because most of them hasn't arrived and I also understand the head coach has given them close of today for everybody to uh, to officially report. So by way of updates, Thomas Pate, uh, Thomas Pate, Tarek Lamte, Brandon Asante, like those are the players that have arrived in Ghana so far. So when more of the guys join, I'm definitely going to give you an update. You can also follow me on Twitter at Delali Frank. And the normal spelling of the Lali and my normal Frank P. K. on Facebook. See the Lali Frank Kaute. That's a fool on Facebook. Just as my social media handles are on the corner. Follow me. I, I do constant updates too there. So you can find some of the short, short content, short, short news that I share there. And also in my community, I'll be also sharing those updates there. So that's an uh, update from the camp of the Black Star. The players are arriving gradually. So as and when they arrive, I'm definitely going to update you. Another thing that I want to talk about is Stephen Apia. Stephen Apia has spoken about the head coach, Otuado, the upcoming uh, qualifiers, and he has also spoken, actually, about Otuado's decision to drop on the IU. Because I think his time, a lot of people have been, players have been dropped, and he said something. The two games, he talked about the two games that we are going to play, and also he talked about the qualifiers, and then... Uh, the Andrea issue. He said, in most cases here, uh, when these players are retiring, we don't communicate it well to them. And like you just have to let the player know that you have done enough for the national team, but it's time for you to move on. Be honest as possible, and be open with the player. Some of them may not agree, obviously, but one thing about it is, no matter what it is, they would. Like, whenever they go out, they won't leave with bitterness. But when you try to chase them away, it becomes a problem. So he spoke about that. And also he spoke about the games that we are going to play. He said, the only way we can be able to qualify for the World Cup is that he, and here he's talking to Tua, he said he should let the players know that he's the boss. This is the situation where you have to put your foot down. I was with him in 2006. Yeah, Tua was with the 2006 squad that went to the World Cup. And he knows how important the World Cup is to Ghanaians. And Pierre went ahead to talk about the upcoming game we are going to play. He said the two games are going to be difficult. In the past, we would not be worried about Central African Republic. That's true. But after our experience against the likes of Madagascar and Comoros, it's no longer a given. It's true. Right? It's true. Ideally, Central African Republic shouldn't be a team that can now struggle to beat but because in our past few games, we have basically struggled to play these similar countries. 
it is not casting stone for you to think that the coach would easily win the match and that's the thing you know but he said we can still win the coach needs to talk to the boys and i think i agree with stephen up here especially when it comes to the players retirement be honest to them clean clear as possible if otuado is not calling and drive again i believe he needs to let him know straight ahead my buddy that team i know we'll call you again in my time your work with the national team is over you want to move on if the player agrees if the player is not happy with it that's the player but you have communicated to the player if there's any proper goodbye the fa wants to do for the player they organize with the player they do it for the player you see Ding, nice no drama then the player goes away it's in that instances it's the best that we can do so for me i think that's what we need to talk about let me know what you think about stephen appears advice to Otuado. one being a man of his own making sure that the players play with a lot of character how we deal with the former players or players that are going out and then let me know the players that are coming in I always give you updates so there's chances high possibility that today the team will not train they may train tomorrow because most of the players are not in town so that's all for today i have some quick uh, shout outs shout out to kofi bento he's the person who commented on my previous video so huge salute and thank you uh, so my name is Dale frank on to meet again bye bye for now Good.